welcome to Quilt Central where we celebrate quilting and everyday living. This week I'm at Quilt Central and Cindy's in Alaska on a quilting cruise. We're going to check in on Cindy first, then my guest will demonstrate how to make perfect circles. Stay with us, we have an exciting show for you. Quilt Central is made possible in part by Janome America. Janome, because you simply love to sew. American Quilter Society, dedicated to promoting today's quilter. Sulky of America, makers of decorative threads, stabilizers, and books. Ulfa, the original rotary cutting system. A1 Quilting Machines, precision quilting machines. A1. American Professional Quilting Systems, APQS, offers a full line of hand-guided quilting machines. June Taylor Company. Krause Publications. Millican and Company. The Warm Company. Additional funding was provided by these companies that care about quilting. Welcome to Quilt Central, celebrating quilting in everyday living with your hosts, Janie Donaldson and Cindy Walter. Welcome to the Alaska Quilt Seminar at Sea. This is going to be an adventure of a lifetime. You'll want to meet the person I'm sitting here with. She's the cruise seminar director. Meet Faye Doyle. Hi, Faye. Hi. Well, you sure have an interesting job. Tell me about it. Oh, I have a fun job. I really enjoy what I do. Basically, it's to make things fun for quilters and let them enjoy the hobby that they have, um, along with cruising in different locations. So it's great fun. Well, great job. Seems like there's a lot to put together. Well, there is, but what we try to do is make life really easy for the quilters, that all the machines uh, are furnished, that they have different classrooms, wonderful teachers, and they don't have to bring too much on the cruise. They can just come and have a great time. Well, that's super. How do you pick the destinations we're going to? We choose different locations uh, every year. We go to Hawaii, to Alaska, uh, the Caribbean, and we choose the days at sea so that they can be in the classes during those days and then still enjoy all the shore time. So it's a great combination. Well, I personally want to thank you because I'm having a wonderful time on this cruise. I'm sitting here with an old friend of mine who's instrumental in picking the teachers for this cruise. She's also a teacher herself and a quilt shop owner. I'd like you to meet Liz Warner. Hi, Liz. Hi, Cindy. Now, Liz, tell me, how do you pick teachers for a cruise like this? I pick a teacher. Anytime I'm picking teachers for classes, there's three things that are very important for teachers to be, as far as I'm concerned. The first one is they have to be an absolute expert in what they're teaching. Second of all, um, they need to know how to teach. and. Most of you can imagine what that means. It's just not everybody can teach who's an expert in something. And third of all, they need to be a compassionate person who, who cares about the students and um, wants each student to succeed. And how do you choose what level the classes are? Um, I don't choose them by level. I choose them by variety. So we have a large variety of classes. And anybody can take any of the classes. If they are a beginner, why they will learn the beginning techniques if they've already had some experience on it. Then they will just increase their expertise in the class. Well, I want to thank you for spending some time with us. I like to start on an edge that's relatively straight. I don't want to start at a point, and I don't want to start at a reverse point. I'm going to take, I've got a short short thread. I like to hold it so my thumb is on the surface of the applique and I'm going to use needle turn techniques. Now I'm looking for something different because I have these certain motifs that I like and I repeat them so now I want to encourage you to think of something different. Everything you know about accuracy you can just chuck out the window for today. You don't have to worry about matching seams. You don't have to worry about being overly accurate. I pull if, off the paper. There's paper liner on both sides. I pull off the paper, and there's the web. <laughs> so whichever side comes off the easiest, pull that side off. Then take your fabrics and stick them on. The other is called blind applique, and it looks very close to hand stitching.
had an absolutely wonderful quilt trip, and I've met um, great friends I think I'm going to have for the rest of my life. We're all going to email each other. We've been productive quilters and even finished a few quilt tops. Janie, we sure wish you and your long arm were here, though, to help us. Thanks, Cindy. I sure would enjoy being on the cruise with you. Don't know if a long arm would fit, though. But today, I have a special guest from Canada. Her name is Jody Beamish, and she has some special tips for making circles. Welcome, Jody. Hi, Janie. I'm so glad to be here today. What have you brought for us to see? Well, I'm going to show you a way to make circles using your long arm machine. And we're going to look at some of the different variations that you can do using it as well. Okay. And you have some special quilts you've brought? Yes, there's some quilts that are hanging up behind me that have some of the designs that you can make using the circle maker. The circles are so neat because they have the spirographic look and your imagination is the limit. That's right, and that's what's really nice about a circle maker, Janie, is because it's a template, so it's always going to be perfect, but you can use it to make a lot of different designs. So I'm going to show you how we get started here. We're going to find the center of the circle first, and I'll get you to go ahead and put the circle finder on. Get it centered. That's right. And then we'll just bring the machine okay. over and we're going to put it right over that little hole in the center. Let me see if I'm centered here. Okay, you let me I know. I it just right. Good. And I'm going to put the needle down then. Okay. And are we ready there? Okay, we'll pull this we'll out. Pull it out. Good. All right. Now with that down, what we're going to do is we're going to um, find the center of the circle over here on the circle maker. So we'll bring the stylus down and it's going to fit right in the center of this little hole here. Okay. Then you lock everything down. So you lock down the cross brace and you lock down this bar here and everything's all nice and snug so we're ready to make a circle. So essentially you've what you've done is you've created a pivot point. That's right. And now with that pivot point in there, we go ahead and pick a circle size that we like. And you can got lots of choices on here with all these different holes. And just get it to lock in there for us. And away we go. right back to the beginning and if we pull it away there we've got our circle. Pretty nifty. Good. And so now you can do other things with it as well. Lift the stylus up and we can take the circle maker off and we're going to put on this attachment which allows us to make multiple circles. So we'll put it on here and if you notice there's holes in the side there's a little pin that they fit into so that that locks it in place on the table. And then we get another circle attachment. Find a position on here and we can go ahead and make more circles going around. So that allows you to get this overlapping effect and That's have right. that spirographic look. It'll give us a chance to do lots of different designs like we're going to see on the quilts behind us. How wonderful. The trend with circles is great because it goes from contemporary back to traditional. We can use them for so many things and I see you have some different attachments to that circle maker. Yes, it's really nice because there are a lot of different things that you can do with the attachments. Um, this one here is for obviously making some nifty little zigzag and wavy lines, but you can also use these two for doing some cross hatching. Some straight line grids. That's right. How about this one? This one is really fun. I especially like this one that makes um, petals and you can make a flower. Oh. It looks very antique when it's done on the right quilt. I bet. And are these uh, square petals or? Those are for making chevrons if you want to do something more of an Aztec style. Oh, that would be neat. Yeah. These ones are fun. <laughs> I like these too. Of course, you mentioned before about the spirograph and these are for making the spirograph. And you can see where you can get a perfect finished effect. I can see even if you overlap some of those, the multiple designs you would get with the spiral. Certainly have a lot of fun on your quilt. This one here? Obviously we've got the ovals, but you can do other things with them is make um, a chain in your border, or you can take your oval and rotate it to make a really neat orbit design. So with each one of these little holes, you could just keep turning a little different and yeah. you'd get this a flower on its own almost. That's right. This is so new, we hardly have vocabulary for it. That's exactly right. 
I think that um, we're going to be seeing a lot more of this type of thing, and especially with um, this machine, we have um, all the different templates that we can try and use. I am so glad that you came to show us all these new templates. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me, Janie. Now, let's see what kind of fun Cindy's having on the Alaskan cruise. We've been at sea for a day and a half, and we loved our quilting classes, but we're really excited to start exploring Alaska. So welcome to our first stop, Juno. Well, our first stop here in Juneau, of course, is a quilt shop, and I'm here with the owner of the Rain Tree Quilting, Jackseen Anderson. Hi, Jackseen. Hi. Well, we have so many questions for you. Tell me, what distinguishes the difference between an Alaskan quilt shop and maybe one in the lower states? Well, in Juneau, we're the only quilt shop here, so we have to appeal to everyone. We have to carry lots of different fabrics to appeal to the styles of all the quilters. Well, where is the closest? About 20 minutes by plane and four to five hours by ferry. There's no road. <laughs> There's no road. You have to fly or take a boat. Oh, that's great. Now tell me, what are your most popular, what's your most popular class? Quilting 101 is probably the most popular. We have four, five, six of those this semester and they're always really full. I can see there's a lot of uh, animal print patterns hanging around on the walls. So tell me about your fabrics and other patterns. What's most popular in your store? Oh, the Alaskan themes, animals, wildlife, everything like that, and brights. Everybody likes the brights because it rains here all the time, and so you need the brights to keep it bright and cheery. I understand you have a motto here in Juneau for quilters. <laughs> Quilting is the best rain reliever in town. Well, good. I'm a quilter now in Juneau. We're here in Juneau with Marianne Vaughn. And Marianne, I understand that you were instrumental in starting quilting in Juneau. Uh, when did you move here and what was it like for quilters when you first came? We started out with three of us and we wanted to meet just to uh, uh, quilt and share quilting stories and share quilting. And we started meeting in the Juneau Douglas Library in a room, a small room, and pretty soon we outgrew the room. And now there are about 160 members of the guild. And thanks for sharing some interesting things about Juno quilters. Have you ever wondered who invents a tool? Well, we're here in a quilt shop with a tool inventor, Lane Braun. Hi, Lane. Now, how did you invent a tool? Well, as most things that need to be invented, those need those a need basis, and I saw it in Houston about four years ago. A lot of circles incorporated in quilts now, and there was nothing to cut them with except scissors. Interesting. And was it an easy process to make a tool? <laughs> no, a four-year process just to get the prototype. Oh my word! To that well, point. congratulations because you've done a great job. Thank you very much. It's rough being a quilter on a quilting cruise. I'm here on the Norse Glacier with my pilot, John. Hi, John. How you doing? Thanks for bringing us up here. You could never have hiked here. Now tell me, why is the ice blue? Well, the ice is blue actually because it's sad and lonely. <laughs> uh, the, real re the real reason for the ice being blue is actually when snow is created into making the ice, it actually takes the oxygen right out of it. And that's so it, it appears blue from the sunlight. Amazing. And how deep is the ice that we're standing on? Well, we're, we're on the lower section right now, and it's approximately about 200 feet. Does this waterfall have a name? That's actually Glory Falls. There's a lake right up in the valley. It's Glory Lake. Well, thank you so much. I want to say I asked 200 people why the ice was blue, and you're the first one that knew. So thanks for our tour today. You're welcome. Welcome to Sitka, the birthplace of the Native American Brotherhood. The Clinkets have been here for over 10,000 years. The Russians sold this area to the Americans in 1867. So come with us while we tour the oldest city on the West Coast. In 1799, Alexander Baranov came to covet Sitka for its beauty, mild climate, and economic potential. 
Sitka was the cultural and political hub of Russian America in the early 19th century and was known as the Paris of the Pacific. A short walk around town reveals many sites of its historical past. Whether on a walking tour or a bus tour, one thing is for sure. The people of Sitka are rightfully proud and eager to share their folklore with you. Sitka combines a treasury of native culture, Russian history, and Alaskan wilderness. We're here with a local quilter who not only started quilting in seventh grade, she also started the Sitka Quilting Guild. Meet Janine Holzman. Hi, Janine. Hi, Sandy. Well, how many people were in the guild when you started it, and how many are in there now? Well, there were about a dozen when we started 19 years ago, and now we always have over 100. I understand that you've made hundreds and hundreds of quilts, and that you also work full time. Tell me what you do for a living with your husband. Well, I'm a deckhand on a commercial fishing boat. We catch halibut, black cod, and salmon, and I've been baiting up today, getting ready to go out this afternoon for halibut. Now, I see some quilts that have maybe some clinket um, influence on them. Do you have a local pattern person that makes these patterns? Yeah, we have an excellent woman named Ellen Ferguson, who is also a commercial deckhand and uh, lives in a little village called Pelican just north of here. Now, we are in a rainforest, and with almost 100 inches of rain a year, does the rain affect your quilting? Oh, it makes it better. The weather's coming, and you just stay in and quilt. Well, thanks, Janine, for being with us today. Now sit back and enjoy Sitka's Quilt Guild, the Ocean Wave Quilter's 21st Annual Quilt Show. Lumberjack show in Ketchikan, and I'm with a lumberman that is the ranked third in the world in the boom run. Meet Casey Swenson. Hi, Casey. Hi, Sandy. Now, how do you become a lumberjack? Well, I got started in Hayward, Wisconsin, which is home of the Lumberjack World Championships. And uh, each summer, the log rollers around town put on a school for kids to go and learn how to log roll. Wow, sounds fun. Tell me some of the types of events we're going to see today. We do chopping, sawing, speed climbing, log rolling, and a bunch of other disciplines. Well, I happen to know a little secret about your mom, that she's a quilter. Yeah, she actually has a quilt hanging in the company store here. Oh, we're going to take a look at it. And I know today is truly a competition, so I wish you good luck. Have Thank a great you. time and be successful. Isn't this great? All the events in this sport here at one place in Ketchikan. We're at the Totem Bride State Park, where there's 14 historical totem poles. I'm standing in front of a clan home, and the pole in the front is called the Front Pole, where it tells the lineage of this clan, the Ravens. Now, let's take a look at a few more poles. In Alaska, one is surrounded with natural bounty. Eagles and ravens soar above, perched in treetops, and swoop to the waters below. Whales, otters, and sea lions inhabit the bays and inlets. Bears, deer, and wolves live in forests of tall cedar, spruce, and hemlock. Berries and edible greens cover the forest floor, while salmon and halibut swim in the waters. Totems reflect these resources with symbolic characters carved on the totem poles. Whenever we come to a port, we have to go to the quilt shop. We're here at the Silver Thimble with the owner, Betty Gale. Hi, Betty. Hello, Cindy. You have such a beautiful store, and I love how you've hung quilts all over the mall like a gallery. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. It's beautiful. We All the quilts that are here hanging are made by the Ketchikan um, Gale, 
and we have a very active members in the Gale. We have uh, 90 members, so we do a lot of things for the community. The quilts are beautiful. Uh, do you have classes here? Yes, we do. And I have five wonderful teachers, and they've all been working with me for quite a few years. Um, we teach beginners quilting, hand quilting, applique, machine quilting, um, stock and whack. We have uh, uh, one of the teachers here, you know, that she designs her patterns. So far she has done five and two are very unique for the area. Well, this seems like a good town to be a quilter in. Thank you. Well, we've just finished our last shore excursion and we had a wonderful time in Juneau, Sitka, and Ketchikan. A cruise ship truly is a wonderful way or a perfect way to see Alaska. But wouldn't it be great to spend more time at each port? I can't wait to come back to this beautiful state. And I'll see you next week at Quilt Central. Today we have with us Cynthia Scott, and she is a sewing educator, and she has some special project for us today. Welcome, Cynthia. Hi, Janie. It's nice to be here. Um, the project I have to present is um, one that's great for travelers. We've all been faced with uh, trying to find our luggage in an ocean of black luggage. Uh, yes. And it's rather daunting to find our luggage. Um, so what we have is a colorful nylon uh, luggage strap that we can embroider and personalize for um, a look that we want. Good idea. Yeah. I have seen some coming down the chute at the airport. Yeah. Um, what we start with is a, a two inch wide nylon webbing mm -hmm. that's commonly available. And we also use a two inch wide uh, side release buckle. Oh, that's really nice. I think that'd be, that'd be good. Um, the first thing we need to do is embroider the strap uh, before we construct it. So we're going to start that with our um, embroidery machine. I have it set up here with a small hoop and lightweight tearaway stabilizer works very well. Okay. We can use any type of embroidery thread. Um, I have a polyester embroidery thread for extra strength. That's a good idea. Yeah. But we can also even use um, a shiny metallic for kind of a fun look. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Very easy to program. We're going to um, go ahead and embroider a monogram, okay. a two-letter monogram. So I have my hoop selected. I'm going to go to my lettering and select a two-letter font. And I'll go ahead and put my initials in. Okay and we're re basically ready to sew. And that'll just put two letters in and it'll index right over to the second letter by itself. Yeah. And um, we'll just get it started there. Um, so this is very easy to do uh, and the monogramming is yes. already built into the sewing machine so it's it's very easy. Um, if we have an um, a interesting theme design that we want to use we can um, either use a memory card um, that's any small design less than the two inch width of the of the webbing or we can in our software we can also even do some fun lettering um, which is what we did on our tennis anyone oh, um, we good combined idea. yeah we combined both the uh, tennis racket and the lettering so uh -huh. so that was a fun thing to do um, we also um, you you can um, uh, add a tag you can so you add, add, a a add a tag, absolutely. Um, you can do that merely by hooping up a 9 by 12 inch piece of uh, brightly colored nylon yes. with, um, we, we used a little, uh, a little batting, That's yeah, nice. to be our stabilizer. Uh -huh. um, after you're uh, completed with the embroidery, we merely uh, remove it from the hoop. Now that's double so we can fold that in half and it's, it's initialed on both sides then. Exactly. So we end up with a piece like this, mm -hmm. fold it in half, then we're going to stitch on two sides, okay. turn it right sides out, and then we have our tag. 
Um, the final, the final um, step is to create our little strap that will attach it to the luggage. Yes. And we use our tube turner, mm -hmm. and we're that all set. Fun. Yeah. That's a nice little tag. It'll just tie to anything. Right, and it'll help us find our luggage when when we're dealing with a lot of a lot of luggage. So. Well, you have really shown us some wonderful things, and I find this really interesting. I know I could use these myself. Absolutely, you should sew up a set and have all your luggage ma matching. So thank you so much for showing us this project. Thank you. See you next time when we transform a bedroom into the Guatemalan look. See you then on Quilt Central. Quilt Around the Clock. Visit the Quilt Central website at www.quiltcentraltv.com for more information on this program. We loved our quilting classes, but we're all excited to see Juno, so, so come with us. I don't know. I don't know. We're here at the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show in Kansas. Why don't you watch her? <laughs> Watch it. Be successful. Well, this brings us uh, to all the great... Okay, I'll just turn. Can I turn and you cut that in? Quilt Central is made possible in part by Genomi America. Genomi because you simply love to sew. American Quilter Society, dedicated to promoting today's quilter. Sulky of America, makers of decorative threads, stabilizers, and books. Ulfa, the original rotary cutting system. A1 Quilting Machines, Precision Quilting Machines, A1. American Professional Quilting Systems, APQS, offers a full line of hand-guided quilting machines. June Taylor Company, Krause Publications, Millican & Company, The Warm Company. Additional funding was provided by these companies that care about quilting. Now you can celebrate quilting in your everyday living. To purchase videotapes of this or any episode of Quilt Central, you may call toll-free 1-866-PADUCA or 1-866-723-8224.